सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थियरी ऑफ प्योर बेंडिंग और यू कैन से थियरी ऑफ सिंपल बेंडिंग फॉर द सब्जेक्ट फंडामेंटल ऑफ मशीन डिजाइन सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो लेट्स टेक फर्स्ट द क्वेश्चन प्रूव दैट इन ए बीम द स्ट्रेस इंटेंसिटी इन एनी फाइबर इज प्रपोर्शनल टू द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द फाइबर फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल लेयर द वेटेज इन द एग्जामिनेशन इज फोर मार्क्स so consider that this is the beam and this is the symbol for the cut out of the length of the beam and this is a neutral layer so for the analysis purpose i have taken the section over here and so that my focus length of the beam is this only so this highlighted length of the beam that is for the analysis so this length is say for example dx dx means a very small length of the beam and give the name as abcd so this is actually we can say the section ac and section bd so in between these two section this is the length of the beam dx that is very small length of the beam and this is a neutral layer nl and a very small elemental strip pq for the analysis so i can give the hash line for the strip pq and say for example this is the cg of the pq and the distance of this cg from the neutral layer is say for example y so this is the position of the beam before bending now it is subjected to the constant bending moment m so we will get the bending in the beam and so that the shape of the beam will bend so this is beam after bending so this portion dx will be bent this is the neutral layer and if i join these two ends with this circular r then it will meet over here this is the strip pq and this is the hash line for the strip pq say for example this is a point o then we have discussed as in the previous video for the assumptions of the theory of bending that the all layers having same common point for the curvature of arc and so that i can give the name as ab so it will be a dash b dash because of it is beam after bending then it is cd so it will be c dash d dash and it is a strip pq so it will be p dash q dash and l so it is n dash l dash and this is the radius of curvature from the neutral layer is say for example radius r and i can mention this y distance also the cg of the strip pq and from the neutral layer it is y so this is the figure a that means beam before bending figure b that is beam after bending so i can write over here consider a small length dx of the beam subjected to the bending moment as shown in figure so this is actually subjected to bending moment now as a result of this constant bending moment this small length that means the dx length of the beam bend into an arc as shown in figure b so this is already the figure that we have discussed figure a and figure b now consider a layer pq that is at a distance y from the neutral layer of the beam as shown in figure a let this layer pq that is actually compressed to p dash q dash as shown in figure b so here you can see p dash q dash that is actually compressed because of it is above the neutral layer so the decrease in the length of the layer pq that is equal to delta l so delta l that represent as change in length of the strip pq so initially the length of the strip pq is dx or you can say it is pq after bending it will be compressed so the length of the strip pq is decrease and it will be p dash q dash so you can say change in length that is original length pq minus after bending the length is p dash q dash of the strip pq so i can say the strain that is represented as epsilon and as per the definition of strain that is the ratio of the change in length to the original length so i can say delta l is equal to pq minus p dash q dash whole upon pq let's give 
the name is equation number 1. Now from the figure B we can see two section O P dash Q dash from the figure you can see O P dash Q dash and O N dash L dash O N dash L dash are similar and so that I can say P dash Q dash upon N dash L dash is equal to R minus Y upon R. So here you can see P dash Q dash. So here it is P dash Q dash and corresponding length is what? The total length is R and minus Y. So I can find the R minus Y that is from this point to this point and that is corresponding radius to P dash Q dash. So let's say this is equation number 2 and this is very important equation. So I have made a box over here. So now let's continue the analysis from this equation number 2. So this is equation number 2. This is already we have discussed the figure A and figure B. Now I subtract both the terms left hand side and right hand side from 1. So it is 1 minus P dash Q dash upon N dash L dash is equal to 1 minus R minus Y upon R. Take LCM. So you can understand N dash L dash minus P dash Q dash whole upon N dash L dash. Similarly over here LCM R, so R minus R minus Y upon R. Now from the figure you can understand N dash L dash that is over here and that is actually neutral layer and from the figure A that is over here NL. So as you know that above neutral layer all the layers will be compressed and below neutral layer all the layers stretch but at the neutral layer there will be no tension or no compression that means the length of the neutral layer will remain constant before bending as well as after bending so you can say n dash l dash is equal to nl so i can put this value over here instead of n dash l dash i can write nl similarly here instead of n dash l dash i can write nl and the remaining portion is as it is and here you can see I open the bracket so minus minus will be plus so keep in mind that this is plus sign now next here you can see from the figure A that NL that is exactly equal to the length PQ so I can put the PQ over here and here so it is PQ minus P dash Q dash upon PQ here it is R and R will be cancelled so it is Y by R let's say it is equation number 3 now as we have discussed earlier that the strain epsilon is equal to pq minus p dash q dash upon pq that is equation number one and that is over here pq minus p dash q dash upon pq so i can say from equation number one i can put the value of this is equal to epsilon in this one so i can say this is epsilon is equal to y by r and let's say it is equation number four now according to the Hooke's law stress is directly proportional to strain and if I put the proportionality constant then it is your Young modulus so stress is equal to capital E into epsilon so sigma as it is capital E is as it is but you know that epsilon is equal to y by r so I can put it over here y by r and once again I can rearrange this term so stress is equal to E by R into Y. Now let's say it is equation number 5. Now look at the question. That prove that in a beam the stress intensity in any fiber is proportional to the distance. So this is stress intensity and this is actually the distance. So I can say from this equation that E by R is always constant for that particular beam. So I can put the proportionality for this E by R ratio so I can say sigma as it is and for this particular term that is actually constant for a particular beam so I can say it is directly proportional to Y and that is say equation number 6 and that is actually as per our question so you can say the stress intensity that is sigma is proportional to the distance of the fiber Y and fiber is PQ for this analysis so hence it is proved.
so make a box this is your final desired proof so thanks my dear friends